The next two pieces will be based on the uh, popular arias or popular uh, operas. Opera, of course, uh, although it was a popular entertainment in its day, it was only certain people who lived in the larger areas with access to an opera company could hear them. So a lot of the opera was heard in the home. So uh, accompanied by a piano or piano arrangement. Liszt, for example, made uh, hundreds of arrangements of entire operas uh, for this very purpose. So uh, we're presenting two instances of this. The first one uh, comes from the number one hit of uh, the year uh, 1795 in Vienna <laughs> by Zielo's uh, comic opera La Molinara of Miller Man. And uh, the most popular aria in it, which is called Nel Torquio Non Vicento, uh, in which two sides of the obtuse angle, triangle uh, sing about the pains of love. This, uh, uh, both the opera and the, uh, and the aria were just so insanely popular that uh, you know, by, by the time this thing really got going, almost the entire opera was considered consisted of uh, encores of this very aria. I don't know why, but uh, this uh, was in fact, uh, you know, the kind of tunes that the Viennese were whistling while they were happily skipping over gigantic clouds of horseshit in the street. And this was the tune that they were whistling while they were flogging their servants. <laughs> now, Beethoven arrived uh, in Vienna just a few years prior, and he was known uh, then not as a composer, but as a very talented solo performer and uh, improviser. So he composed, uh, I mean, his, his breakthrough of the Pathetics still lay some four years ahead. Uh, but uh, he composed these set of variations that you will hear same year as this uh, was premiered, and in it uh, he kind of gently uh, lampoons the piece and explores its inherent musical material. Um, we, I, I hope we, you would get a little bit of a sense of the Beethoven as kind of the impish entertainer that he was in those days. The second one comes from Carmen, needs no introduction, um, but just wanted to point out that it, it's hard to believe that this basically a cavalcade of unbelievable arias and melodies, you know, was very tepidly received. And uh, Bizet died uh, three years after it premiered without having enjoyed the uh, popularity that it achieved. Uh, but the arias from the state are absolutely irresistible for anybody who tries to sing anything whatsoever, but also for arrangers. Um, of which there were many, many, many. Uh, you might know a few. Shireen did them, uh, Sarasate, and many others. But this particular piece that I'm really thrilled that I talked Dimitri into playing by uh, Ferruccio Pisoni is not just a, um, an amazing uh, collection of tunes from the opera, but also uh, extremely interesting music in its own right, where Pisoni layers his own understanding um, and also remixes some of the melodies you'll hear simultaneously within the same piece. <laughs> 